If on Facebook this morning there was news of thousands of free gifts, each worth hundreds of pounds, being given away outside Tesco, would you not be really tempted to go and see if you could receive one of them? Perhaps we wonder why so few people are interested in God's free gift of eternal life, worth far more than anything Tesco's could ever give away. Why do we so often feel like we're talking to a brick wall when we mention our faith to those who don't believe? Paul in verse 3 talks about the gospel being veiled to unbelievers. To them, this amazing free gift is hidden. What makes it so hard for people to see that gift that is offered to them? Paul writes, The God of this world has, been blind, has blinded the minds of the unbelievers to keep them from seeing the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ, who is the image of God. Who does Paul mean when he refers to the God of this world? Satan is and has been at work since the Garden of Eden to distract, to manipulate and to distort the truth. Unfortunately, he has done well. We live in a society which broadly fails to acknowledge God's existence or authority. Our society puts its hope in signs for answers to our big questions it puts its hope in human leaders to guide and direct. It's a society of individuals who are gods of their own little universes, preferring to be directed by their own pick and mix style philosophies and ideas, rather than bowing to God's supreme rule. And even in the church, Satan has worked hard to twist God's word and create disharmony and diversion from God himself. What if, after reading on Facebook about this amazing free gift, you rush to Tesco's to claim it, but on arrival, you're met by a crowd of disappointed bounty hunters. It looks like it was fake news. One of Tesco's employees is standing just outside the entrance, telling people that there are no free gifts to be had. Everyone leaves, but you hang back, waiting for people to go. You ignore the employee and walk into customer services and ask to speak to the manager of the shop. He comes down. You ask him about his offer of a free gift and his face breaks open in a smile. Of course, he says, you only needed to ask. He handed over a 500 pound voucher to be spent in his shop any time. When you mention the employee he's been standing at the door, telling people there was no free gift, he rolls his eyes. It turns out he's a disgruntled ex-employee who was misleading all those people looking for a free gift. So what would you do next? You'd get back on Facebook and tell everyone where to find the free gift, wouldn't you? You wouldn't keep it to yourself. Let's not allow Satan to continue to blind, distract and distort people's view of the best free gift that we could ever have. Let's pray with renewed determination for those we love who as yet have not claimed their free gift of eternal life.